I first met Bob when I came to campus at York. I wasn't recruited, uh, but my high school coaches had told him that there's a kid who was at the end of our bench, uh, a little skinny black kid who may, who's you know probably full of desire that may come and try out for your team. And I remember walking into Bob's office at Tate 211B or whatever it was, just around the corner. And I walked in and I introduced myself and I said, you know, you know, when's tryout? And he said, you know, it's like we start Monday at four or whatever. And and uh, we got talking a bit and partway through the conversation, he said to me and. And what's your name again? Paul Ford? And I said, no, it's Paul Jones. And I, I kind of went, oh, well, I guess I'm going to have to kind of make an impression here. And uh, that was the first time we met. He was terrific, though. He was, I didn't leave getting the impression that he had his mind made up about who he was going to pick on his team. And um, he was a great thinker, a great basketball mind. But he wasn't the kind that would say, this is how it is and you're going to... He'd just kind of leave you with it. And it was almost like reverse psychology. I'm just going to leave you with this. And he'd leave it there and it would, it would take, you know, have an impact much later. He'd had a terrible accident. I know because of the way Bob treated me when I first got to York and, you know, a struggling teenager who was kind of trying to find himself. He was, he was like a second father at times, you know. And I remember when he'd had his car accident, how worried I was. And I remember Mark telling me that there was a game that they were playing where Bob got upset, but he'd graduated from a wheelchair to crutches. And he was up and he was moving on crutches. And he got upset and he got totally ticked at the ref. And he kind of slammed his crutches together and threw them on the ground. And he was like giving the ref what for. And then he was done with the ref. And then he turned and realized, I can't get back to the bench. <laughs> I can't get, like, somebody help me. Like, the crutches were at the other end of the bench. And he was standing there and he'd had his say. And the ref kind of went, like, sit down. And Bob went to sit down and he, he couldn't move. They had to go and get the sticks from the end of the bench and bring them back to him. So uh, that, that, one, that one was kind of funny. And I could see Bob doing that, like, you know, OK, what do I do now? Six Ontario titles. Uh, two-time National Coach of the Year. I'm proud to say I was part of one of the two CIAU, CIS bronze medals. You know, nine-time OUA, OUAA Coach of the Year. Um, just amazing accomplishments. Uh, his, his accomplishments are, they speak for themselves, you know, and again, he's not the kind of guy that, um, you know, is a look at me kind of guy, but those accomplishments say something. I mean, we used to tease him like, you know, why don't you wear a tie or why don't you dress up or whatever. And we always knew when it was a big game because Bob would put a jacket on. Like he would be really kind of like, okay, this is kind of important. Uh, but his accomplishments kind of speak for themselves and they speak like Bob in a very quiet, understated, uh, but successful way. Bob, it's... Uh Great to be able to sit here and welcome you into the York University Sports Hall of Fame. Um, I would say that they have this backwards. You should have been in before me, before Enzo, Timmy, John, David, Bo, Mark. You, you should have been in before any of us because uh, the impact you had on us on the court and then helping to prepare us for life after basketball and off the court uh, is what made a lot of us successful. We were lucky to be around you um, and the committee finally got it right. I'm waiting for a day when I can come back to York and they have a building named after you after being here for 37 years and all you've accomplished. But I was in before you and all the guys were in before you, but we reach out and we'd like to say welcome to the club, Boehner. Uh, well earned, uh, you deserve it, and it's great to be part of this night for you.